Welcome, very good evening, Shobha, how are you, Rekha, very good evening, <coughs> hi Neela, Anandi, Sesh Kumari, good evening Sudha, hi Vasanti, very good evening, welcome to Jeshingaran Creations, today's session, uh, hi Samyukta, Today's session will be on uh, once again on fabric. The topic which we have taken today is coffee painting style of work on fabric. Okay, so here uh, we are going to do some paintings using the different dances of the, I mean the poses of dancing ladies. Okay, so of India. So this is the work which we are going to take for the coffee painting, and it is going to be on a table runner. So here we have few uh, patterns. So I am going to make two runners, one with the uh, four dancing poses of India uh, with the dancing feet on either side. Similarly, the other four uh, poses in a different uh, runner. Okay. So now let us begin with the, uh, the dancing foot. We will place the uh, feet on either side of the runner towards the corner and the dancing poses will be placed in the center. Hi Basha, Pratibha. Fine, the first and foremost thing what you should do is just trace the design on the fabric. You can use a black carbon because this is a coffee painting style of work where we will be using the color uh, will be like uh, it is it is burnt sienna. We are going to use burnt sienna for the color for the entire painting. Uh, light and dark shades of this. And to <coughs> highlight certain portions, we will be using white also. So, only these two colors we will be using for the painting. As uh, these are the dancing poses of India, different poses. Okay. Hi, uh, Nagukumari. Good evening. So, since the color is uh, of a darker shade, please do transfer the design using the black carbon absolutely no issues okay. and i have already traced the design on the fabric now let us begin the uh, work first and foremost what you should do is you need to outline the entire picture with the direct burnt sienna color suppose if you don't have burnt sienna you can always use dark brown also any one of these you can use suppose if you want to make it a little more darker you can always mix it very little of black to burnt sienna to get a darker shade that also can be done okay but as far as possible try to use a direct color uh, either burnt sienna or dark brown so because we will be diluting the color towards the process of painting so better not to add black and if if in case if you want the outline to be darker you can always add black to the brown i mean the sienna and then outline the picture so now let me transfer the color <coughs> hi sharda ma'am good evening using a triple zero brush or number three you can outline the entire picture the lines okay the line should be bold with a direct paint okay so now i have taken burnt sienna here and this is number 3 brush hi manjula good evening Actually, this is, uh, uh, I should say it is, a, one piece is, a, um, rather uh, this uh, runner is going to adore the living room of a friend of mine who is a dancer, also an artist, artist in the sense she can paint and draw and sketch everything, 
so she has given me the idea of this and she wanted to paint it for her because she had absolutely no time for her and uh, she is going to uh, actually uh, like uh, i will be getting a few more orders also of the same pattern uh, she is going to gift it to her uh, students uh, during the arangetra okay each students will be getting a table runner so i thought i could share it with you all so we started with this i have already given the uh, uh, two two pieces to her and these two are another extra pieces which i am doing it for her so thought i could share it with you during the session how to go about the painting uh, with a coffee style of uh, work okay hi vasanthi good evening so please do not add water to the paint for while you outline the design just initially you wet the brush wipe it and then start the outline now each and every detailing should be hi suchita ah before uh, before we start let me congratulate the um persons who have submitted their work uh, really sorry let me just uh, show you the creations of certain people and i am getting day by day more and more uh, creations very happy about it and uh, you, you people are really rocking the first one is uh, nirmala ma'am nirmala ma'am has done it and this is the work what she has done alavatta very nice creation ma'am at this age you have made it so well and uh, I, i'm sure you can you, you could complete the entire saree itself okay fine wish you all good luck the next one is we have two uh, pictures this is by basanti she has started the poses of krishna the first one is the leaf krishna then we have uh, this is the crawling krishna what we did the first class okay the crawling krishna then the next person is um, and uh, this is actually sharada ma'am's work when she started she shared this to me and now just before the session she has shared the finished article also i'll just show you uh, finished one also just a minute yeah skip and she has completed the work also that was initially when when she started and just before the session she has uh, shared the picture to me congratulations to, to you ma'am keep creating then we have yeah this is lakshmi harihan ma'am's work she has done it on a cover on a pink fabric the butta krishna very nice very cute beautiful creation very good attempt and you have made it ma'am then we have uh, this one is kavita saprejis she has completed the work of course just the painting alone she has completed uh, it to finish the other enhancement the embellishments and the other stuff she has to do that is pending because she was she told me that she was not doing well but uh, somehow she is able to uh, finish this much congratulations then we have uh, this is shobha prem kumar's work again one of my uh, student who used to uh, come for the on ground classes so very nice of you to complete and share it to me wish you all the best so these are some of the creations which i have received i'm uh, and many people have even messaged me uh, that the work is in progress for them and they will share it to me as early as possible okay hi vasanthi ma'am sesh kumari good evening good evening very good okay now we will begin the session as i told you the please do not add water to the paint just directly from the bottle load the brush and do the outline work preferably a uh, number 3 brush or triple zero for since the lines are going to be little uh, bolder a uh, better to go for number 3 brush just load the brush
this is once again a casement cloth so a little thicker you can instead of the table runner you can even hang it on the wall also i'll be getting around 10 numbers in this the orders because she is going to gift each and every student of hers make it bold and one more thing we are coming up with a uh, workshop uh, it is the marble style of painting on canvas board those who are interested please message me i will share the uh, procedure what you have to do is you need to share the material picture uh, by tomorrow or day after tomorrow because day after tomorrow it is on friday that is on uh, 24th not 24th uh, yeah 24th is saturday uh, the program i mean the class is on 24th and you have to submit it before 23rd and after 24th we will be giving you just one or two days time wherein you have to submit the i mean share your finished article that is a must both are mandatory that is uh, sharing your material picture and the completion of the work also so that you can uh, we can enroll you uh, in the future session also make it bold draw each and every design what you have traced with the paint and the paint which i use here is burnt sienna you can also use dark brown the poses of krishna are not mine i did not create the design it's my friend's own creations because i'm doing it for her so she has given me the patterns also and what is to be done hold it upright and then make the circle to get a perfect circle you have to hold the brush like this always remember make it very bold once or twice you can add the color to the fabric ah uh, you here you can even use um, liner also burnt sienna liner you can use but i prefer to use the color and one more thing uh, people were asking me personally uh, what is the size of the design for the pallu i mean when you paint a sari uh, i'll tell you the normal the standard size to do a pattern whatever the work may be whether with one character or one theme or many uh, uh, distinct characters uh, the size would be 40 inches breadth and 24 inches height remember that but according to your wish and the um, design you have chosen and the client's requirements all those stuffs the budget everything you can decide the size for, for that what you should do is you can either alter it uh, i mean reduce it or you can make i mean um, enlarge the picture also no issues but first what you do is you spread the fabric especially the pallu portion take a newspaper place it on the pallu and see what size would be better for the pattern then you measure the newspaper and then try to uh, get the uh, design done from the xerox shop okay so the standard size would be 40 by 24 please do not forget that and of course i said as i said you can either reduce it or you can even enlarge it also as per your requirements because gayatri was asking me and share the design also it's a huge one 
and it is 24 by 40 only it's a perfect size but it's a single character so i was not that uh, um, for it because uh, single character with so much of uh, length and breadth will not look so good but uh, since it's a um, um, face krishna i think uh, she can add few designs by the side of it or around it or either the top a border and a border at the bottom will help her to enhance the picture in a little better way okay just try to fill it When you feel the brush is little thicker and you are not able to continue the work, see now I did not dip the brush or wash the brush after doing certain strokes. So what you do is, don't dip it in water, just wipe the brush so that it becomes little stiff enough. So to, easy to load the paint again and then complete the work. This is once again a lovely tip which you can all follow. Just in the middle of the painting you can wipe the brush without dipping it in water, without washing it. Now it has become little stiff. Now you can load so that the paint is loaded only at the tip which will help you to complete the work quicker. I have taken the uh, feet, one facing this side, the other one opposite side, okay? Because these are towards the corner of the runner. I am so happy that one of the participants, uh, I mean the viewer, has got an order for the sari different poses of Krishna so happy uh, I wish her all the best and uh, let her complete it on time and as per the clients requirements wish you good luck money maker life. It's okay Seshu Kumari because uh, I didn't know to whom I shared the design. That's why uh, sec uh, for the second time also I have sent the design to you. Absolutely no issues. You can save it. Okay, now all the fingers are done. Now the nails, uh, because the dancers, they normally color the nails. Okay, and they even have the mehendi also on the hand and the, or even on the feet also. So just to denote that. I have covered it fully with a burnt sienna color. No water added. It's a direct paint. Take little by little and then start applying the color. Now once the outline is done, leave it to dry completely. Don't start the shading and other stuffs immediately because it will spoil your work. Wherein we have taken lot of uh, paint. Okay. So it has to dry fully. picture 
is the one this i think she must have taken it from uh, net i think i'm not sure got smashed over there so i will rectify that later i will correct it later not now i will add little white and uh, others i think to I wanted to do uh, Puri Jagannath uh, because today is Rath Yatra over there. So then uh, I had some personal work. I had to go out. Could not uh, get ready with those materials. So I thought I would do this. Okay. Now once this is done, leave it to dry. Then the next step is to do the detailing on the uh, main picture. Okay. For the now I am not going to touch over here. I have already done one on the other side. Let me let me continue the pattern over there. So this will take minimum ten minutes to dry. In the meantime, I have traced the poses of uh, dancers. Four numbers here, and uh, the feet on either side towards the corners. Now here, this is done. See here, it is fully done. Okay. Now I need to add the details. Now for adding the details, you can use a thinner brush, preferably triple zero, because the gaps are so small. So you can use triple zero or little smaller. I mean, uh, one number one also you can use. This is triple zero, so I'm using this. Okay. Just with two colors, you are going to paint the full fabric using uh, the motifs of dancing. Poses of India. Now let me take. This is done. Dried fully. Add some detail work on the design using triple zero brush or number one. Place dots to enhance the work. Make it very grand with lot of detailing. Very low budget work, but a grand uh, work indeed. Okay, now just to show the opening of the chalanga, add a line. center see now see the brush it is the too much of paint in the brush so i will just wipe the brush and load again the paint in it
any doubt use only bernsiana A very simple design in fact but when it is placed on either side of the runner uh, with the poses of the dancing poses of India it will look very grand now coming to the once again you can wipe the brush now coming to this portion we can add We have two more poses of uh, Krishna also left. We will do it later. Uh, let, uh, I wish you could complete all the other things whatever was uh, shared to you in the earlier days. So that we will have some time to finish and later you can join me for the rest of the other patterns also. We will have a, uh, a blouse painting is also pending, Tanju style of work. And then enhancement is there. Keep dot. Okay. Wipe it. Here also, you can just a small tilak sheet, a line you can do. place dots on top of it keep enhancing it okay don't stop with simple patterns let it be a very grand one with lot of detailing Of, yeah, cheru, for instance of cerulean blue you can use uh, Prussian blue also okay okay Vasanti I will share the this thing details sure Indo uh, for the table runner it is always the casement cloth which is very really good or else you can have a silk fabric on top or with I mean at the bottom you can uh, add some cotton fabric. Okay, you can stitch it. Good evening legendary boy. Who is this? Uh, see, I've, I just uh, did not see all these messages. Uh, yeah, Seshu Kumari for the coffee painting style of work on fabric. It is always better to use a white fabric understand it look very pretty please do it on a white fabric uh, yesterday it was raining samyukta and today it stopped better climate is somewhat better still a little, little hot that's it but that was a very good relief for us when it rained the whole day even during the night also it rained uh, comparatively, the uh, uh, thing has come down. Uh, 
you can do it in cushion cover but how many two uh, poses you can do ma'am you can just do only one now so uh, it will be better for a table runner or for a wall hanging a vertical wall hanging not horizontal but a vertical wall hanging and this will be very very fine Padmini, hello. Okay, done. Just now we will have we have some pattern here. This place is left. So what we do is we make circles here. close to one another almost like touching at the most you can do two patterns in a cushion map one the front side one at the back side so you can try uh, but uh, my preference would be on a runner because we have already done uh, cushion painting You can finish a table runner in a day or two. Just the first step is little laborious. After the color dries, this dark color, then the next step is very easy. Just complete the pattern. Okay. Then now we will have here also again small small circles not fully filled with the paint but the center just leave it like this make a small circular portion done now we have almost done with the uh, detailing on the fabric ok for the international dancing day you can do you can have workshops for the students you can teach small kids also And the outlining is over. Now what you must next do is just a minute. Take the same color. Now add about six to eight drops of water and make it very 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 light diluted add lot of water to it make it as light as possible okay 
just keep it ready instead of the coffee powder we are using burnt sienna color and instead of different uh, base here the base is fabric koi baat nahi padmini you are late even then uh, it's okay the video will be available nahi uh, this i did not dilute it now only now i am diluting the color okay so i think we can add some more also now using a flat brush don't use round brush use a flat brush just load the color take the color apply over there just apply the color now if this is dry then on top of it also you can apply now this is almost dry what we have done the detailing okay now let me add some more water dilute it just apply on the salangay also this is purely monochromatic white uh, is optional if you want we can use white apply on top but you need to wait for the first outline to dry completely then only we can do this kind of work that we can add the uh, lighter shade to it what you do is take little more i mean uh, some more burnt sienna make it little darker than this not the direct color not the diluted one in between the two you have to mix and keep the color ready so add just few drops of water mix it and then you keep it ready now take the medium color the middle color rather and then give a shaded effect wherever it is required now for each and every the chalang add the darker for the chalanga it is darker towards one corner just a small touch will do okay this is the middle color done now here also apply the darker color darker in the sense the middle color wash the brush and then blend it some more middle color add over here wash the brush wipe it okay. 
okay now we will move on to the lower part let me add few more drops to the diluted one just apply the color if it is not dried do not spread the i mean move the brush flat on the fabric just gently you apply the color so move now here leave these circles as it is we will place white dots over there just to enhance the picture okay just without disturb because i don't know whether it is dried or not i didn't want to take a chance so i'm just moving the brush very gently between the designs and filling the color on the fabric if it is dried completely then blindly you can apply the lighter shade absolutely no issues but here i don't want to take a chance let me add some more water oh um, no no need to wash directly on the fabric you can start the work if it is a poplin or any other cotton fabric then better to go for a pre wash before you do the painting for casement uh, no need actually this, yeah this is the angular brush i am using the uh, longer end for the application i am holding it in this is the plan, angular brush i am holding it like this and then i am applying the color then in between gaps also you can wait for 15 minutes for the color to dry then start with this work otherwise the darker color will get smudged now for the fingers here also let me fill the color apply very little color first only to a smaller portion wash the brush take clear water in the brush and try to spread the color making it the lightest see and show you and we will do this portion the same way take first color that is a diluted one apply for the portion then wash the brush take a drop of water clear water and try to blend the color with the base fabric so that you get the lightest color possible it is only the water we are using to spread the color see here. can add some more to the side then here also just a drop of the color wash the brush then with the little water you try to spread it okay 
once this is done here also for the bow uh, we will do just add color almost dry so no issues we can start the color The next step is to add white. Okay. So for white, again, no uh, mixing it with water. It is a direct white. For the dance, uh, for the poses of dances, now we will have a different technique, which we will be doing it uh, the next session. That is uh, day after tomorrow. Tomorrow I have a work, so I cannot have the class. So take the paint. To enhance the picture, what you do is just place a tiny dot very very tiny then on the shalanga again very close to the darker brown just a small line just a small just very close to it the white application can be done immediately soon after the coloring or you can wait for the color to dry also if you do it immediately then you get a lighter shade which is really good for the work and if you wait for the color to dry then the white stands out okay if you want uh, whichever way you want it you can do like that Here this is semi dry so this is neither bright nor dull the white which I am applying right now. Then here make a bold dot. When we do the coffee painting we do the lighter shade first and then we add on the darker uh, little by little and make uh, bring it to the darkest okay now fill all the circles whatever is left when we did the designing with white and sometimes we even used to add a little bit of glue to the coffee mix the powder and the water so that uh, it will not be sticky because it has some kind of uh, the vegetable powder added to the instant powder to give you a uh, what do you call the thickness to the coffee so that becomes little sticky when exposed to the atmosphere so to avoid that we add uh, normally when we do coffee painting on canvas board we used to add glue to it okay but here it is not the case Now below the brown, just place white dots and here also just fully cover the gaps which we have created with white. Okay. to the feet thank you Vasanti thank you so much yes uh, Kumari, it is fabric glue which we were using when we, we used to do coffee painting on canvas board ok we add fabric glue to the mixture of instant powder with water On the brown you can place white dots these are all our creativity and you can make it grand also <coughs> the work hi Aarti good evening just 
to start with a bigger dot and then you complete it as you move to the other end placing uh, gradually reducing the size of the dots okay now here it is over now we can add some more darker shade for the particular portion because it's lighter so what you do is we have the color already in the palette this is the direct one this is added more of water diluted to the maximum and here it is like a uh, middle color okay thank you arti um, thank you kavita thank you so now take the middle color it is very less take the middle color and then very close to the line add the color this can be done towards the end just before finishing the painting okay any picture can be done for this kind of a coffee painting style on the fabric now let me just blend it towards the thing it is the lightest and here also a little bit left so you can just see wherever it is left add the color and complete the work it's just the three uh, mixing one is the direct paint the second one is with lot of water the color and lot of water then the medium one will be less water added to the color one without adding water one less water and the other one for the dilute uh, this thing uh, shading a uh, very lightest shading possible more of water added to the paint and the color we make here we use is burnt sienna understand you can use uh, dark brown also but burnt sienna is little closer to it and it looks very pretty also understand so i will just show you so you will have one foot over here facing this way then the other one to the other corner of the runner facing the opposite side and in between the two you will have different poses of i mean the dances dancing poses of india classical dances poses, poses of india uh, eight numbers four in one runner and four in the other runner okay you can even have mudras also instead of uh, these kind of uh, suppose if you don't want to have the feet then you have the mudras thank you leela thank you seesh kumari yeah yeah sagavita yes you can have hand mudra also i am planning to have hand mudra for the uh, borders okay so please do the borders also so next class we will start with the uh, poses then one more class with the mudras and we will complete it okay just one second thank you sujita thank you so much hi shanti thank you so today we have um, just for an hour we had this session it's a beautiful one i liked it i have already done two pieces and handed over to her and i um, had to get more orders almost got it uh, i had to finish them I had to start them in fact and in between i thought i could share the uh, technique to you also okay thank you suji uh, just you can go through my uh, video it will be available uh, what you have mi mi missed earlier since you have joined late please go through the video also okay
and create a piece if not if you are not able to do it a runner please make it on uh, as uh, sharda ma'am said you can do it on the uh, cushion covers also any kind of fabric but if it is a runner any a color particularly lighter shade and preferably uh, white okay it look very pretty on white so please do it on white color and other colors are just secondary i don't uh, recommend but in case if you want to you can try also so it is your wish and uh, do try yes please present it to her and i am sure she will be very 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 happy okay a novel gift uh, for the dancers they can just hang it vertically also it should look very pretty in the living room and even in their academy also they can hang it so that's all for today's class and uh, we will wind up and day after tomorrow we will meet again with the poses of dancing ladies okay thank you and any doubt regarding the earlier sessions please uh, ask me as i said uh, people were asking me about the size of the uh, design for the pallu it is 40 by 24 40 uh, length i mean the base and 24 is the height for the picture okay uh, for the entire picture whatever you want to paint over there with multiple character or with a single character try to fit in with that 40 by 24 if it is a single character like the face krishna which we did in the class uh, maybe uh, uh, it will be uh, in a2 size and then with the with the other elements on the outer okay so decide accordingly and then get the xerox or the print out whatever it is uh, you can try on the pallu any pattern you can do you just tell them they will get the um, thing print out and you can trace the design and continue the work and i'm so happy that people have started sharing the creations of the different poses of krishna in tanju style please keep rocking and try and share it to me so that i can share it to the others also just message me regarding the designs i will let you know okay thank you sharda ma'am thank you so much so we'll meet uh, day after tomorrow that is thursday uh, and i'm coming up with an uh, fevical free workshop on marble style of painting on canvas board that is um, scheduled for 24th that is saturday so submission of your materials is a must and the finished article sharing is mandatory okay both are compulsory and you have to do that very beautiful art uh, artwork uh, just i will share it in the group those who are interested you can fill in the forms and then there is a google form you can fill it and you can share the uh, materials pictures also and if you don't do that and if you don't submit your work next time we will not give you an entry for the class this is compulsorily that you have to submit your finished article understand so let us see day after tomorrow with the uh, different poses okay uh, suji please message me i will let you know what is to be done for the uh, okay thank you thank you all thank you so much take care and bye bye